to you, though. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's do All it. Right. Are you rolling? Okay. <laughs> Hi, princess. You look like a princess. Thank you. I am in Sierra Leone, West Africa. My ex was called princess, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm a different princess. Okay, right. You are. No. So what brings you to this till um, premiere on Red Carpet? I wanted to get to see this movie. I know it's a hard movie to watch, but it's a history that needs to be told. And I think that it's important that it's being told, but it also wrenches my heart in a lot of ways. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I just saw the Life magazine photos, and I was just like deeply moved, and yeah. and it's just it's just such a crazy, crazy event, and and it's just like you know what really got me was um, who's interviewing who. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I love to hear what you have to say. Well, when I saw the smug look on their faces when they got acquitted, smoking a cigar and stuff, I was like. Whoa, like, how could you, like, it's not even, it, it, I just, it just blew me away. Too many things about the movie. And also, Carol wrote a book. She wrote a book? Wait, what are you writing a book for? I know, I know. It's re This is really hard. It's a, it's a tough movie, but it's important to share because actually, to remind us not to keep repeating history, it has been being repeated. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is another reminder that we need to stop repeating history that doesn't work. I'm so glad this film came out, and I've been telling some of the guests here tonight is that this film should be shown to all ninth graders across the U.S. I agree. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll have to see if it's age appropriate. But I think it's pretty important. Yeah. Yeah. And Shinoya did a great job by not showing like violence, yes. kind of keeping it cool, like joy to joy, love to love, start to start. So. Yeah. Really amazing. It's going to be incredible. I'm excited to see it. Princess, I know nothing about you. What, what is what is it that you do? So, um, I, my family runs a chiefdom of 70,000 in West Africa. My uncle's the president in the country in Sierra Leone. And I co-wrote a book about being adopted into an all-white family in West Virginia. Wow. <laughs> growing up and then going back and meeting my family and the whole tribe, finding out that I'm a princess in Sierra Leone. Oh, wow. uh, we just sold it to Disney and we're turning it into a movie, which we're so excited about. About. And we additionally have an animation and a Roblox game. And I'm also a diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging speaker and speak a lot in corporate America and internationally. I would have been so stupid if I didn't talk to you. <laughs> no, not at all. It was his fault. It was not my <laughs> You're <blatant. laughs> So lovely to meet you. So awesome to talk to you. Okay, so I can't wait to see this. What is it going to be called? We're not sure yet. It might be after the book that I co-wrote is A Princess Found, so we might keep the same title as the book. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Awesome talking to you. You too. You're great. You Thank you. I'll never forget your name now. <laughs> Princess. Bye. Take care. <laughs>